We've all seen cops get caught out on their dodgy and out of control antics by judges, lawyers, or even their peers. But what about when they get caught out by a normal person like you or I? Let's get straight into it. Ma'am, need to need your ID, please. This is not a stop in ID state. I'm not yes. giving y'all my ID. I have nothing to do with y'all stopping a driver for no okay. tags. Well, the thing is here, he is going to write him some citations. It's potentially okay, going to well, go to court. So that, okay, that has nothing to do with him well, going it, to court. It has it, nothing if, to if do you with me. If want to ID you and you're a potential witness that will be called to court. I'm not going to be called to court over a tag on the car. That makes no sense. That makes yeah. no sense. I know my rights. There's no this dodgy cop in the state of Illinois tries to abuse his power and make this woman identify herself to him. Lucky she knows her rights and stands her ground. Why do I have to give you my ID? Because you're a potential witness on this. A stop. potential witness yes. on I have there, nothing to do with him do. being stopped for driving. Vehicle right I, I, I have when nothing to, to do court, with it. Would you like I know to my rights. No, I would not. Nope. No. Nope. Why, why are you being so uncooperative? We're, we're, I'm not being uncooperative. You, you I, you're not going to stamp. You're you. not going to stomp on my rights, sir. You're not stomping on your you rights. You are stomping on my rights. You have no. no reason to run my name, and you're not going to. No, you, you do, don't. Because you're potentially involved I'm in I'm potentially sitting in the be... passenger seat, not driving. You stopped him you for a driving charge. The sir, sir the I'm seat. not going to argue with you about it. That's You're not going to stomp on my rights. I have nothing to do with that. Well, you do because you're in the vehicle. It doesn't matter. It, it does. does. No, it does not. It does. No, it does not. It does. No, it doesn't. And I'm not going to give you my ID. That's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I know my rights. And you know my rights. That's why you're not forcing me to give you anything. Yeah. Not not yet. You're not going to, not neither. Yet. You won't, neither. No. You won't, neither. Well, potentially. You no, know, you potentially, you won't. You won't ID yourself, I ain't got we, nothing to do with a traffic can, stop. I, I have, have nothing to do in, with a traffic stop. No, sir, I do not. I have yeah. nothing to do with a traffic stop. Yeah. No, I don't. No, I don't. It's, I, mean, I don't even know. Up? I don't. I don't even know why you're trying to argue with me about it. Because there's usually a reason why somebody won't identify themselves. Well, I mean, I know. it's because that, ha, have you not had anyone like check you on your knowing people's actual rights? You've never had that happen. Do you like, not watch auditors or Amendment anything? Or so. listen carefully to his reply to this woman's question. I certainly don't watch, watch shows on police work. I do it for over 20 years. 20 years as a cop, and here you are being outsmarted by a member of the public. Maybe you should practice what you preach, officer. Well, well, well then you need to, sir. You need to watch because so you, you really guys think have. The shows are correct. And... All right. Oh, no, I know they are. You just want to make sure I don't have warrants. And that's. That's, that's your opinion. That's no, you that's, that's okay. the truth of the matter. Okay. That's, okay. that's, that's, that's your opinion. That's the truth of the matter. Wow. He has to walk away. I think he may have just realized that he was caught out by this woman trying to abuse his power. Traffic cops are like wild dogs when it comes to defective or unsafe vehicles. Let's check out what happens when the shoe is on the other foot. This mate, and the inside is bald as a baby's bottom. So your car is defected. So this one, this one's bald too, mate. So before hand out defects, maybe check your own car. Yeah, but you guys are. This cop gets caught blatantly lying to this man in Tennessee. We've had thefts in this community, okay? You can do that if you want to. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Careful. <clears throat> We've had thefts in the community, okay? And you don't live here. Do you have a reasonable not, suspicion? The reasonable suspicion is that the possibility that you could be a thief in this area. I have explained to you what I'm doing. I want to know who I'm dealing with. You could be an ax murderer. Okay? So you, could you. you. Yeah. No, not in my uniform. Yes, I'm you at could. Work. No. no, no, no. There have been plenty of cases where officers have broken the law. Okay. Let's not pretend. Nobody not, is perfect. I'm not breaking the law. I'm asking you for your ID so you can show me your identity and I can walk away from here and give you your your uh identification right back to you and we'll be done are you issuing me a not right civil citation second. no not this second am i being detained or am i free You're not to go being detained. you can leave if you want to yes okay thank you but if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. No, you're not. So the cop has just told this man that he's free to go, which implies that he isn't being detained, but in the same breath has also told him that he can't stay in the area, essentially ordering him to leave, which in most cases, police officers can't demand someone to leave a public place unless there's a life-threatening issue. For example, a hazard or a crime scene, which in this instance, there is none of those. So simply, this officer just doesn't want him there, which is a breach of the law. Because you're, is, you're this a is this a public... 
Street. You, you're suspicious in this area. Okay. I, and I don't you know have, if you're getting ready to you go have, to this lady's house and steal anything. You have approached or this lady's me. House or anything. You okay? have approached me. Do you want to leave? You have you approached me. You got one or two me. options. You can leave. You have approached me, and I have explained what I am doing. I am playing a game on my phone. So That's you think just I'm your a liar? Excuse. So I'm a liar then. Let you're, me tell you. Let me tell you this, okay? You you're saying I deal with ninety percent of the worst people. Ninety percent of the time, ten percent worse people. Okay? Yes, yeah, I understand. Your sense of trust is gone completely. No, it's not there. But I just, I'm asking I you to, to obey the law. I'm, I'm asking you to obey the law. I am obeying the law. No, you are not. You do no. not have a reasonable, articulable have, yes, suspicion. I do. Yes, I do. What is you your reasonable, in, articulable suspicion that I am about a, to commit, uh, a, have committed, or will commit a crime? You are in an area. What is you your reasonable, inhabit, articulable suspicion okay? that I have committed, will commit, or about to commit a crime? No, sir, I'm not. So as you just saw, this man has shut down the police officer's argument and exposed his first lie. Hey there. Now you're in violation of traffic law on top of being in a neighborhood where you don't live. You which, live on Ridge Street, right? Which traffic law am I in violation of, sir? You're violation of registration right now. How so? Because this is on a white minivan and the tag comes back to a green car. Well, I can't. That's what we were issued. But if I'm in violation, please issue me a citation. Let me see your registration, proof of insurance, <clears throat> and ID. Can I get in my thing? Yep, go ahead. All I want to do is make sure you... I you understand right. that, okay. but what does my ID have to do with making sure the area is okay. safe? Is the area any more safer now that you've identified me? Yes, and I'm going to tell you how. Okay. The, uh, the explanation that I'm fixing to give you is the reason why I do what I do. Okay, this area, and now that I have your ID, the area, if something does happen, something could happen, there's a possibility of an already known suspect now that was in the area prior to anything happening. So if something happens tonight or the next day or something like that, who's the strange people in the area? It would be you. So the officer wanted to identify this man as a suspect for any potential future crimes that could happen in the area. Talk to you, we will commit an Well, that's do fine. An Why don't you come and talk to me when you have a suspicion of an actual crime? Sir, Sitting if, on the side of the can... road is not suspicion of a crime. Yes, this is a is. this is a road. What crime is is sitting on do a you public know anybody road? Anybody in this subdivision? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. Why aren't you sitting in front of their house? Because I already sat in front of their house. I explained to you this is a GPS game. You understand GPS, I know. I understand GPS, and I understand people doing all these games. But if you want to be hard with me as far as... I'm not trying to be hard. To, I'm trying... To to, I want you to obey are. the law. I am doing the law. No, that you are... You, as, as a corporal... Is, is my duty. Bull. As a what? corporal, you I'm glad you, you know my job better than I do. I don't know your job you better than you, you do, but I do know around. the statute okay. for identify. The I was not committing you a know what? The statute for identifying yourself is anybody over the age of 18 has to have a document in their possession of who they are at all times. But I don't have to give it to you. When you are asked and requested Bull. by a by a officer you, you do have unless to you are issuing me a civil no, or a criminal citation anything then this is I Nazi Germany your, I can ask for your identification at uh, any given you, time. sure you can ask for it but I'm not legally required to give it to you so you just watch the police officer argue with the man as to when someone should present the police with identification, in which the suspect refers to the Tennessee Code, which states when asked by a police officer for identification for the purpose of writing a citation or civil warrant, failure to produce any form of identification can be used to arrest the suspect, which in this case, there is no citation or civil warrant being written. So once again, this man has caught this police officer out lying to him. I'm happy you feel that way. Have a good afternoon, sir. Thank you. you so with a bruised ego, and after being caught out lying twice, this officer decides to swallow his pride and leave before he gets himself in any more trouble. If you're still here watching this, I want you to know that I appreciate you. And to show my appreciation, I'm gonna keep these videos coming. So to stay caught up, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to turn on the notifications, and we'll see you in the next one.